you ever attempted to grow any root vegetables? We've tried several uh, different things. We've done carrots a few times and successfully, sometimes not so successfully. But I know when you're growing a carrot that you have this plant that's growing up above ground and the plant can look really good, but it doesn't t really tell you what's under the surface. Under the surface is a carrot and sometimes we've pulled carrots and you've got this tiny little thing uh, that you pull out. Sometimes it's, it's hit hard ground or it's hit a rock and it turns and it bends and you come out in this deformed looking uh, carrot. The Bible tells us in, in Revelation 1, uh, three different things that are the same thing. There is the Alpha and Omega, as mentioned twice. I am the first and the last, Jesus says, is mentioned once. But in verse number eight, it is also said, which was and is and is to come, the Almighty. The omnipresence of God is something that's pretty amazing when you think about it. In this scripture, we see that he, he has always been, he is and he always will be when that's usually what we think about when we think about the the presence of god uh, being all the time but the presence of god is everywhere uh, even underground where that carrot is or if we can make the spiritual application even in in the roots of your heart what's inside you what we have uh the the, the plant that is growing underground is really what's important and god knows exactly what that is God knows what your things are that nobody else knows, the things that you struggle with, the things that frustrate you, the things that hurt you, and things along that line. He knows those things. Talk to him about it. He knows the deepest things in your heart. He, he's, he's there. He is seeing it right now. Cast your care upon him. Talk to the Lord about those deep things. Don't, don't just put a plant where everybody thinks you're okay. Let's, let's let God look at our hearts. Search me, O God, as David would say. I hope you all have a great day.